the question is, are you Neville Chamberlain? You know, we played something from CNN this morning where um, uh, one of their anchors asked the first, uh, the former first lady, if we should just accept this anti-Americanism and anti-Semitism to be able to grow the future. Well, the same kind of question was asked in the past. Look, we don't want war. We don't want trouble. Um, shouldn't we just accept? Sure, they've got problems with the Jews and everything else, and they have warning signs everywhere, but shouldn't we accept them? Neville Chamberlain was the Prime Minister of England, and he was asked in 1938, he was asked if he would write a letter to the Hitler Youth, and this is, this is the original letter that he wrote to the Hitler Youth, signed by Neville Chamberlain. And um, in it, he says, I welcome the intention of the German youth movement, the Hitler Youth, to devote a special issue of their magazine to the subject of England. This was the Hitler Youth magazine that this letter appeared in. And he said, I gladly accept the invitation to contribute to a project which I regard as a sign of the growing desire for mutual understanding between our two countries. A growing desire. He after he he talks about how great the Hitler youth thing is and how much he admires that they are sticking to their principles and everything else. He um, he says the admirable motto, the year of understanding, which you have chosen for the year 1938 shows the part that you are playing in the work to heal the world. The Hitler youth. And within a year, Germany was in at, at war with England. Yeah. Within a year. I mean, this is 1938. Um, and uh, in, by 1939, Germany was at we're, we're we're in really World War II. Yeah. Um, and this was the idea that we can just we can just live with this kind of anti-Semitism. Now, let me show you where it leads. This and I'm going to show all this stuff on TV tonight. You got to join us because it's a it's going to be quite an amazing episode. But this. Uh, this is a, a napkin that has been preserved by um, someone um, all these years. You know, and they, they tried to kill Hitler several times. This was a napkin uh, that uh, was out uh, when they tried to kill Hitler and tucked into someone's uh, shirt as they were eating. And you can see the shrapnel mm. that tore them apart and the blood stains uh, on the napkin. When you if you if you refuse to look at the truth and you refuse to ever um, believe that things could get worse and you continue to give strong man strong men power. And you dismiss all of the warning signs because you don't want war. Because you don't want death and destruction. As things get worse, if you continue to dismiss it and continue to uh, uh, look the other way, eventually people have to try to kill them. Eventually their own people do whatever they can to stop them.